Hi Scorpio, welcome back to my channel, Karma Fox. I am doing your weekly reading for the final week of December 2022. Merry Christmas to you guys. I hope you had a good week. I'm going to take a quick second to remind you that this is a general reading. It may not resonate with everyone. Also, please keep in mind that the energies can reverse or flip-flop, and that's not at all unusual. All right, guys. If uh, you're interested in participating in the three-question card poll that I'll be giving away at the end of this month, just subscribe to the channel. Be sure to hit that like button and leave me a comment. All right, guys. Let's get started. Spirit, can I have the energy of Scorpio? All right, Scorpio, you're starting out with the Five of Pentacles reversed. We have the Queen of Swords reversed. And the Devil reversed. All right, so it looks like you're going through some kind of a karmic cycle or karmic lesson here. I can see that um, you've experienced some loss. Um, I feel like you're unhappy about that. Some of you are angry about how things happened. Um, you may have been dealing with somebody that was overindulgent. They may have been indulging in some sort of addictions or, you know, it could have just been a toxic relationship. Um, but I feel like you, you don't want any toxicity in your life. You do want a reconciliation with somebody because you're feeling that loss, but you're not going to accept somebody back with the toxic energy that may have been present before. So it looks to me like you, you might be drawing some pretty firm boundaries here. Um, be careful because some, some of those boundaries might be drawn so hard that um, you might be coming across as angry. Um, and some of you might be angry, you know, I don't know. Let me see uh, who's in your energy. I can just tell you that um, the perception from the other party is that you, you're you being harsh. And I'm not saying you are. I'm just saying that's the perception. All right. We have the death card in reverse. We have the high priestess in reverse. And the seven of cups in the reverse. Yeah, this is... You could be dealing with a karmic... Um, but definitely there's a karmic connection here. Um, what I'm seeing though is that this person doesn't want this to end and I do see something toxic in in this uh, within this person's reading. There's something that uh, is poisoning the connection here. Yeah, so you're not wrong about that. And I, I can see they're still holding on to you as well. There could have been some kind of a secret that came out. And that might be what you're angry about as well. If there was any confusion, if this person had any confusion about where you stood in this connection, they're pretty clear on it now. <laughs> All right, so let me... I, I feel like you, you were very firm about something here like you you let this person know where you stood so they're not confused I also feel like if this person had options that they've they've gotten rid of those options because they really do want to hold on to this connection let's see the energy in the connection four of cups yeah you're both holding on to the connection you're both guarded though yeah, definitely are both guarded. You both want the connection. You just don't want the toxic element that's in it. I can see that, Scorpio. Let's see what's affecting the connection. Knight of Pentacles in the reverse. Things are stuck right now. You're kind of stuck in um, angry feelings, angry or, you know, just disgruntled about how things went and it looks like it may have had to do with some kind of secret coming out and they can't pull themselves out of that energy let's see your outcome at the end of the week the 
the tower in reverse. Looks like the two of you may have tried to rebuild the connection, addressing the foundation. So that's good. All right, so at the bottom of the deck is the two of wands in reverse. Interesting. So decisions that need to be made. Somebody doesn't really want to make them. Eight of Wands, there's going to be communication. It's going to happen suddenly too. Um, Eight of Cups in the reverse because someone doesn't want to walk away or can't find that they can't. Something has been done here that has constituted an injustice, but um, the universe is, is applying justice to the situation. So somebody's receiving karma. You both want success and there looks like there's going to be an apology and possibly a new beginning so let's let's clarify see what we have because i feel like this connection is at a crossroads right now all right spirit why is the five of pentacles in reverse for scorpio knight of swords in the reverse and temperance in reverse yeah, there's, there's, you're not talking to this person. Yeah, you don't, you, you're like, I, I don't, I don't have any desire to talk to you right now. You're healing your energy. I do feel like you are trying to bring balance back to yourself before you proceed forward. Because when this, when this ended, I feel like, um, it ended in a destructive way. There was destruction. It, it wasn't like it was a, a peaceful ending at all. So it's left a lot of imbalance. You do recognize that healing needs to take place. There could have been some lies that came out as well. So I do think you, you're holding on to this person. You do want a reconciliation, but it's not unconditional. And I get that. Why is the Queen of Swords in reverse? I do feel that they're very focused on you right now. Three of Wands. Three of Swords reversed. There could have been some third party energy here. If there was, you're waiting for that third party energy to be, you know, gotten rid of or, you know, ended. And it looks like it has been. You're also, you're healing yourself. You're waiting for this, um, you're waiting to for your healing to take place. You're waiting for things to not be so painful or so um, emotional. And you're also waiting to see what this person is going to do. Why is the devil in reverse? Yeah, there's that five of five of coins. It happened because of secrets, because of things that were hidden. Mm -hmm. Cancer energy there. Yeah, there were um, there were things that were hidden, and that's why that's why I feel like you walked away from this person. I'm also seeing a uh, Sagittarius, by the way. Let's look at their energy. Why is uh, the death card in reverse? Yeah, I just heard that they, they didn't believe you would ever leave them. I And I don't have any cards to tell me that. I just heard it. So this person may have not believed that this would ever happen, that you would ever just, you know, break up with them like this. All right, so we have the Ace of Swords. They're going to, they want to come forward and talk to you. Page of Pentacles reversed. They're holding back. And the Ten of Swords reversed. Yeah, they know you, you're not going to come forward. They know you won't come forward because you feel very betrayed. So they know it's on them to come forward. And I do feel like they're holding back a little bit. They do want to, um, they want to come forward and 
try to reconcile and, and address the betrayal. They want to bring clarity to the situation. So I do feel they know it's on them. Why is the high priestess in reverse? All right, we have the star, sign of Aquarius. We have the nine of wands. Yeah, they want to work this out. They're hoping to work it out. They're hoping that that even though there's been a lot of hurt, that it can be balanced out, that the problems can be resolved and put in the past. And they're watching you. They're, they're watching you for sure. Yeah, because they really want to be with you. That they, They're really hoping that, that you will resolve things with them. Why is the Seven of Cups in reverse? Three of Cups. Queen of Wands reversed. Yeah, I do feel like some of these some of the people that you were involved with, some of some of uh whoever's on this side, some of them did have a third party and it's ended now. And if it wasn't a third party, they were they were partying. They were they were definitely partying. Um I, I feel like it's ended though, whatever that is. They know what the problem is, they know that they are responsible for coming forward that they caused some some harm here so they know why you walked away and i feel like they've cleaned up their act and they're hoping that you will take them back why is the four of cups here why is the four of cups here The Empress in reverse and the Two of Swords. Yeah, you feel very disrespected by this person. You feel like things didn't grow in this connection because of lies, because of um, dis you know things that were done that were destructive. It wasn't balanced. Maybe, maybe you were giving more than this other person was. Um, you also feel like you were very much disrespected here. And you're, you're holding on to that because it's not been resolved yet. Now, the person that you're connecting with here, they are, they know they have to make a decision here about communication, about coming forward and communicating and I do feel like they're waffling. They're kind of going back and forth. They know they have to bring clarity to the situation and that it's on them to do that. But I feel like they, this is somebody who maybe, you know, will put text in their phone and then erase it before they send it. So they're trying to decide how to approach you is what it looks like. Because they're holding on to you as much as you are them. It's just they don't, I feel, I feel like they may be afraid that you're just going to turn them down. Um, why is the Knight of Pentacles in reverse? All right, we have the King of Wands and we have the Lovers in reverse. All right, we have the sign of Gemini. We have fire sign, um, which would be Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. Libra's here, Taurus is here. Yeah, the, the two of you are not on the same page currently. You're definitely waiting to see what this person is going to do with regard to a third party or with regard to, you know, partying. If they're going to come in and try to repair this situation with you, you're waiting to see what action this person is going to take. 
I do think that it leaves you feeling a little bit stuck because you don't like this waiting. But you're, you're going to require them to take action. And they know that that's on them because the problem originated with them. They know that the two of you are not on the same page. And they really do hope to work things out with you. But I feel like they have to decide how to approach you. And they have to decide to commit to approaching you. Because they're not taking action. And you're correct about that. Instead, they're kind of like, um, they're stuck in this ending. They can't decide what to do. Um, let's see why the tower is here in reverse. It is in reverse, which is good. All right, we have the page of cups reversed. We have the ace of pentacles. And we have the Six of Coins reversed. So I do see that there is going to be a rebuild of this connection. It's, it's coming, but I don't know that it's coming this week. Because both parties are still holding back. You're waiting for an apology. And I feel like this person, um, they're cleaning up their life. They, uh, they're putting an end. For those that there's a third party, they are putting an end to that. And if they're partying, I do feel like they're, they're putting an end to that too. This person may have breadcrumbed you. They may have given energies to more than one person or situation. They're putting an end to that. They know they need to apologize, but they, they haven't worked up their nerve to do so. They're going to. I can see that. <laughs> that's, that's why your underlying energy is the two of wands. They're at a crossroads. They need to make the decision to do it and then just proceed forward. This is an indecisive person. You, I wouldn't be surprised if this was an air sign. Um, you want a new beginning and you're not going, and it, it's got to be solid. You want it on solid ground. No more of this, you know, situation where it's a, a situation ship or, you know, this person is breadcrumbing or any of that kind of stuff. No more devil energy. And you're very firm about what it is you want. And you're waiting for an apology as well. And I feel like you will walk away from this person if they can't figure out what to do. And you'll have a new beginning elsewhere. So you're kind of waiting to see what they're going to do. And if they don't get it together, I feel like you will be out the door. So, you know, if you're a cross watcher, you, you kind of need to step it up here. Because this Scorpio is... They're, they're headed out the door because they've had enough. It looks like they're just fed up. Right now, I, you're both holding on to this right now, Scorpio, but I, I feel like you're just not going to wait around forever for this person, and I don't blame you. All right, bottom of the deck is the Nine of Pentacles reversed. Now, this tells me that there's some codependency that might be present I, I feel like um, it might be a little bit present on both sides. It's definitely an issue on the person with the person you're dealing with. There's also some loss here. Both of you feeling some loss. Somebody may have also experienced some financial loss too, as a side note. All right, I'm going to pull and see if there's any oracles that want to come out. Yeah, something. All right, let's see what came out. Girl talk, time with friends, moving on, happily single, living in the moment and having fun. So I feel like this is your energy, Scorpio. I feel like a lot of you guys are spending time with friends, 
you know, you're, you're taking care of yourself right now and you, you're talking about, you know, what you need to do to move forward. Um, we have keys on a ring, many options, decisions, stringing along, one night stands. This is your person's energy. And then we have sunglasses, watching, looking, stalking. Yeah. So I think this is shared energy. I do feel like both of you are kind of keeping an eye on each other because you're both holding on to each other at this point. But that is going to change in the future. All right. Well, I do hope this has been helpful for you. Um, have a good Christmas. And um, if you're interested in the three card or three question card poll, be sure to subscribe, hit the like button and leave a comment. Other than that, I will see you in the monthlies in 2023. Namaste.